So this is going to be my first video in a series of videos where I teach you how to do different things within Cisco Packet Tracer. It's going to start off with some pretty simple concepts and then we're going to build up over time to show different things and how you can do different things. So if there's something particular that you would really like to see, make sure you leave a comment on one of these videos. But for today's first video, I'm going to show you how to build a very basic network with two PCs and one switch. So to do so, we're going to start off within Cisco Packet Tracer and we're going to come to our end devices and we're going to click on a PC and we're going to add two into our workspace. So I'm going to place them two there like so. Then I want to come to my network devices. I want to go to switches and I want to select the 2960 switch. I'm just going to place it there in the middle. So now this is the simple network that we're going to be building within this tutorial. It's quite simple, but it's just going to show you some of the basic concepts to get started with. So I'm just going to zoom it in a little bit more. So we need to now connect these devices. So I'm going to come up to the lightning bolt. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to use the copper straight through cable. And I'm going to select fast ethernet zero on PC zero to fast ethernet zero one on the switch. And I'm going to repeat the process for PC one and also connect it up to the switch. So now we need to configure our IPv4 um, addresses for these devices. So I'm going to double click on PC0 and I'm going to come to desktop to IP configuration and I'm going to assign it an IP address of 192.168.10.1 and then it should auto populate our subnet mask for us. And I'm just going to add a label here that this one is 192.168.10.1. And then what I'm going to do is I'm going to come to PC1. And in here, I'm going to do the same. But this time, I'm going to call it 192.168.10.2. And again, I'm just going to add a little label here for PC2. So now we have our two PCs and we've got them both labeled and their IP addresses set. So now what we need to do is we need to set up a ping communication to see how they work and how they communicate. So we can come into PC0, we wanna to go to command prompt. And what we can do is we can do IP config and see if the computer sees it's got the right setup. So there is our IPv4 address. So now what we're going to do is we're going to try testing our connectivity and we're going to ping PC1. So to do this, we're going to do ping 192.168.10.2. And now we should see communications because it's just a very basic network here. It just communicates through the switch and back. So we've gotten our four pings of our devices. So now what we can also try doing is setting up a IPv6 address and trying out pinging this. So this is something that you can do in Cisco Packet Tracer under IPv6. So the address we're gonna set is a standardized address format of 2001DB8ACAD and then we assign it to one. And we wanna set the prefix length to 64. So here, see how we've got the two semicolons? That's saying that's the end of our address and that's the assignment of one for our IPv6 address. So what we can actually do is we can copy this first part and then reuse it on our PC1. So you wanna come back in IP configuration and this one we're gonna label two and make sure you set the prefix as well to be 64. So now we can actually ping using an IPv6 address as well. So to do so, we can come to, we'll start off from PC1. And we're going to do a ping, and we want to enter that um, IPv6 address, which is 2001db8acad1. And we are now getting our ping communications, which means we've been able to set up a IPv6 address in both devices and they both communicate correctly. So this is how you can build a very, very simple network to get started in Cisco Packet Tracer and how you can set a IPv4 and an IPv6 address. 
make sure you to watch the coming up videos for more tutorials.